Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in this video we are going to learn how we can create this type of beautiful login screen inside our android app. I hope you will enjoy this android studio tutorial and before start please I request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos. Let's start. So here you can see that we have created a simple android studio project and we have to type here view and its width would be match parent and height 250 dp put forward slash at the end type android colon background click on values and open color.xml here i have a pink color code i will copy this and paste it to my purple underscore 700 open activity underscore main and type here at the rate of color purple underscore 700 that's it next we have to constrain our view so click on this option select horizontally in parent and constrain your view to the top next type here card view width match parent height 400 dp angle bracket and constrain it with the bottom of our view constrain it horizontally by clicking on this option and give margin top to minus 100 dp click on design select your card view margin right would be 32 db and margin left 32 db click on split to open the code and type here card elevation to 12 db it will create a shadow for our card view and next type card corner radius to 12 db this property will rounded the borders of our card view next close this forward slash from here and type a angle bracket and close your card view tag just type angle bracket and forward slash and inside this card view we have to create a constraint layout width match parent height match parent click on design drag and drop a text view here constrain it horizontally and constrain this text view to the top margin top would be 16 dp give text size to 22 sp text color black text style bold and put a text here login and again click on design search here plain text drag this text view and drop here constrain it horizon horizontally and constrain it with the bottom of login text view its width would be match parent margin right and margin left 16 dp drag and drop another text view here constrain it horizontally its width would be match parent and constrain it with the bottom of our first edit text margin right and left 16 dp and margin top 16 dp also give 50 dp height to our both edit text and give margin top to our first edit text 24 dp next drag and drop a button here constrain it horizontally constrain it with the bottom of our text view height 50 dp margin left and right 16 dp and give width match parent and margin top 16 dp next we have to design the background for our edit text to create the edit text background right click on drawable new drawable resource file and type here edit underscore background press ok button change this selected tab to shape and inside this type solid color hash type this color code put forward slash corners radius 10 dp again put forward slash open your main activity click on first edit text search android colon background and type here at the rate of drivable edt underscore background this is the file that we have created a moment ago so just type enter here we have to change this color code from this one to this to increase the beauty of, of our edit text again op open activity underscore main and now it's looking fine click on your second edit text and in the background section type here at the rate of drivable forward slash edt underscore background that's it and next we have to place two icons in the beginning of our edit text to create an icon in android studio right click on drivable new select vector asset click on this icon to view the android studio icons library and search here person we will use this icon so select this and press ok name this ic underscore person press next and finish button android studio have created an icon for us which is ic underscore person dot xml double click on it and you can change its color from here so i will type purple underscore 700 again open main activity select your first edit text and type here drivable left at the rate of drivable ic underscore person and next type here drivable padding 10 dp and type again here padding left 10 dp that's it next we have to change this text to hint and this name to username we have to do these same steps for our second edit text which is a password so i have insert my second icon and next click on design and drag and drop a text view here and remove the upper constraint of our button click on this text view and constraint it 
it stop with our password bottom edit text and constraint this at this point simply search here text and enter here forgot password and again constraint the top of our button with the bottom of our forgot password text view and give margin top to 16 dp select login and search here text size and change is from 22 sp to 28 sp next drag and drop a text view here constrain it horizontally and constrain it with the bottom of our parent screen and search here text and type here create new account give margin bottom to 16 dp or 8 dp and finally open the color.xml and also copy and paste this color at this position and also at this position so we just have completed our code now let me run the app so i can show you the output so friends here you can see that my app has been run to our emulator and this is our beautiful login screen if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section and we will try to answer your question and fine gap is a software development company if you have any query about android app development website development or api integration you can contact us you can email us because we are providing these services and finally thanks for watching